Hello guys, how are y'all? It's me again, I am the Medusa and I am back again with my YouTube video. Okay, today what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about how to actually uh, beat um, depression without taking any pills. So you guys, I would like you guys to share with me and also please, 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 please subscribe and leave your comments below on how you guys deal with your own depression because right now we're going through this pandemic and there's so much depression that is going on so what we do right now it's very important that we actually help each other because we need to help each other by all means necessary oh, okay um what i do to actually beat my depression i try by all means to meditate i find that meditation helps a lot and also sleeping i've discovered that sleeping it's good but not too much because that's i do remember i used to sleep a lot and i used to exclude everybody and even not even wanting to um, to eat which is, it was such a problem for me and i've lost a lot of weight because i was so depressed and um yeah so all of those things are the things that we need to watch out every single time when we actually going through a depression and um you feel because the feelings is more like this when you're actually going through depression i don't know about your, your your all but mine was more like you feel like you are a failure you feel like you are not worth to be loved you are not worth to be saved you just feel horrible about yourself i don't want to use the vulgar word but you know you feel like <clears throat> you know so um how to actually beat depression without taking pills what i did for myself is that i try by all means to spend time with nature with things that i love to do with what makes me feel calm and peaceful and something that takes the concentration away from myself to um, consider on somebody else or something else that i'm doing that i enjoy doing that i it keeps me entertained sometimes tv also helps to just watch other people and just stay away from yourself and try to see what other people are doing out there watching your favorite shows also helps and also try by all means to exercise i've discovered that, that also exercising also helps me quite a lot and um try to keep yourself active don't try don't let the feeling of absolutely doing nothing take over you because it it can actually be overwhelming you you can end up trying by all means to just stop everything i don't want to do it anymore i'm out so yeah try to stay away from that feeling because that also is your downfall every single time when you feel that recognize it see it talk to someone talk to your close friend talk to a person who listen to you because some of us can't afford psychologists some of us can afford psychologists if you can toodles to you if you can't find your 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 good friend who can listen to you and give you proper advice because we all have those good friends most of us actually i don't know about y'all but i know myself that i've got a very good person that i can talk to about this thing and he always have good advices and healthy advices that i can use so i always listen to what he says and i try to um put it into action post uh this friend of mine which is his name is sia sia dumisa he's quite good because he always try to listen he's a very good listener he listens to everything that i'm telling him and then he will reflect back to um people who are out there and that are helping other people and try to investigate the thing that i'm feeling whatever feeling and we deal with it bits by pieces to see exactly how we i can get out of it and i can find the root of it and i can actually try to destroy it because sometimes if you don't find the root of the feeling that makes you want to uh, be depressed sit at home and doing absolutely nothing it kind of defeats the purpose if i would say that because what's going to happen to you is that you will fall into the trap of darkness it's, i call it the trap of darkness because that's how you feel you don't want any light around you so you just want to be in your own space you want to stay there you don't want to talk to anybody that's you you see so those type of people those type of feelings that are very 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 hard to fight if you're alone 
they're very hard to fight yes you can fight them but you will find yourself now and then going back to them so try by all means to recognize those feelings and stay away from them and then another technique that i use for myself every time when i feel the depression going is that i try by all means to not think about myself and concentrate on other people's you know there's this say that say that when you look at other people's problems you kind of realize on how light your problems are i kind of use that technique i know it's maybe not the best for other people but for me it works because i realize that i'm not i don't have as much problems as the other person there's so many people that have got problems out there that they're dealing with there are people that have got cancer they've got terminal illnesses they're dying and i'm still healthy i'm still doing everything that i want to do i'm still enjoying life so why am i supposed to be feeling bad about that it's supposed to be rejoiceful you see in that way you kind of comparing yourself with people who are worse than you it works <laughs> that is also a technique that i would like to give it to you guys it's free you don't need to pay for it you just need to find those people even on your media on tv that they watch tv talk to people you'll find out that some people are dealing with a lot of stressful stuff a lot of things that are bringing them down some people are losing their jobs some people have family members dying some people got so many things that are going on and they are trying to balance them and you see that it's hard so yes compare yourself to the worst <laughs> so that you see how better you are and then yeah so you you get out of that depression feeling and to also help people who find themselves trying to even take their own life yeah some people are trying to commit suicide out there guys it's it's a very serious topic because um this clinical depression the one that um people would definitely find themselves in and it start very lightly maybe um it's very light and you just don't see it especially on a black community on a black community we always believe that there's no such thing as being depressed you, you're just lazy you just don't or like we don't we are not well educated when it comes to mental health that is one thing that kills us most because if you find so many people who are killed by depression on the black community people are so they're so confused on what caused that person to die what caused that person to commit suicide what caused that person to take their own life they were depressed what is depression people don't understand it so all of those things we do see them actually happening out there and guys please 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 talk about it and compare yourself to other people and try to exercise and try to eat healthy because also they say that um also imbalance of chemicals in your head can also cause depression so you ha you have to eat things that are gonna build your mind your greens your vegetables everything try by all means to stay healthy out there especially right now that we're going to this pandemic it's very hard for other people to to even try to um ask for help or try to get out of this depression feeling so please 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 find a way to cope because if you don't we're gonna be having a problem so yeah i will say kudos to everybody that have find a way on how to beat depression and please share your comments please do subscribe share your comments and tell me more about how you beat your own depression i told you my coping strategies and they've been working for me because i i saw myself that i was depressed i was not even diagnosed but i saw that these are the signs of depression because i'm a type of person who always goes out and find more information for myself because i always believe that more information will make me have a wiser decision to make I'm more of that of a type of a person I investigate, I find information, and I just fix the problem in the most possible, easier way. Thank you guys, and please do subscribe. Love you all. Toodles. Keep it real and be healthy minded, guys.